is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. I do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes?
Resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death song. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. 
I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. Admiral, he's still alive. It's time to finish this. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth, must tell you, must tell you something. Come closer. Well, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. 
so make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. <laughs>
Iskanderus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. I do. Darth Malak. Time to rumble! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time, and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not... yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. 
We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus apprentice, as it was meant to be. Sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on!
Bastila. What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Nah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Basila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malik who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am... experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. A distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed, I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow, what are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malik himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. I knew the little guy would come through. Don't hold grudges. The others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. 
I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late.
Kichua Penti, Yun Patisa, Kichua Ichuta, Yun Patisa, Kingba ni Chalora Kutang Ituama Ji, Human Act Ung Chiwi Aita Ki Muli. Ki Muli Ra. What do you need? You got
What is it? Sure. Kukumo no ba mulirati kun. Runda di hotonga kun hanka di. Ta kung justak miki grabal mogo. Kachichu itabo. Ke puna! Buna nai kachi gratu loda bograshi on neo kumba jin tono runda di hotonga kun hanka di. Tag this to Bunko Cookie Bank Banka. Ting Palachiska Mkuyami Jus Chikata na Patoga ya Fulki Kokola Chichi. Shangji Locha Wana Wama? Kava Volba Mul Manaman Atota. Haki Jukrata Bola Shui Chongatong. Chotong Hait Wam Chichi Jung Lumpa. Nita. Chikun ita haldonga, yiking kuno ba. Tong abog sha umino? Kava dumpa ku palia mukapata, butol pa da pangwale gando na gugu chuchut. Wi tam boragatong, multong abog sha. Sure. Ki muli ra kun king. Don hi duama. I don't like the sound of this. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha, agi unko tuni. Chiwa e aita kan ki cha na chuporni. Topa na oto bukasa, pampa kas kronki to patslimo. Chi ita kan ki cha na kilikon. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inkas kronki to patslimo, chi ita kanki chan na kilikon. Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Chi wa e aita kanki chan na kupornipo, kun muli ra. I do for you? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You 
You did everything you could for my brother, more than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run, like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not gonna dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. Hey there, what can I... It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Yeah, what do you want? The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be... There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapon. The Republic's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into... Yeah, I... Enforcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gap... I sought worthy challenges, but I think now with you... Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davin. Is this... Your... Yeah, what do you want? Your... How can you possibly be Raven? The one, the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Raven, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. 
It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Thank you for placing your confidence in me. I only wish I had your heart as well. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like? Of course. Bedwana ni bobo. Tonk na bumsha. Takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi bedwana ni bobo. Tonk na bumsha nunya. Kuya mi juz kachita najpatoga. Ui. Ita nada. Kuya mi juz kachita najpatoga. Go about your business, please. Well, this is a sitcom. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? I'm no master, yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should, um... Hmm. You! Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. 
Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? I want to let them go. Yes, that's, that's right. They're, they're not worth my time. I'm on my head. What, what was that? I feel like I... Uh, uh, just get out of here, all of you. I don't have time for this. of a sit what is of course